So in this problem we are given uh, a cylinder filled with gas and closed by a piston which is free to slide up and down. Uh, the piston is then connected to a spring uh, with a given value of spring constant K. Uh, originally uh, the gas is held at 20 degrees C and uh, the spring is relaxed so it's neither stretched nor compressed uh, and therefore exerts no force. So the temperature of the gas is then increased to 250 degrees C. It expands and as a, res as a result of that expansion the piston goes up by a height H. The question is uh, what will be this value of H if we increase the temperature to 250 degrees C. Um, well, first of all, uh, we can write the equation for the ideal gas. We can say that, in general, uh, pressure times volume is equal to the number of moles times R times the temperature. And here, temperature everywhere is measured in Kelvin, so we'll have to convert this into Kelvin. But from this equation, you can then say that PV over T is a constant, uh, which means that the values that we had originally, P0, V0 over T0, uh, this is equal to, t, to the values that we have after the expansion, so P, V and T. So we can use this expression now. Um, so on this side, uh, this, will, this will remain, so this will be P0, V0, T0, and here, uh, after the expansion, the pressure will increase, right? The pressure will be bigger, and we can calculate that increase in pressure because we know the force that the spring exerts on the piston, and we know the area of the cross-sectional cross -section area of the piston. Uh, so, the new pressure would be the original pressure plus that increase, okay? So that increase is equal to the force exerted by the spring, which is Kh, times the area, sorry, o, uh, divided by the area, so Kh over the area. Kh is the force, uh, divide the force by the area and you get the pressure. So this is our new pressure B. Uh, what about the new volume? Well, that's going to be the original volume plus that increase in the uh, volume due to the in, uh, increase in the uh, piston position. So uh, the increase in the volume is then equal to H A and the new temperature T. Uh, we can rewrite this equation. If you rewrite it, uh, I'm going to skip a few steps of algebra here, but if you do the, the algebra, this is what you get. You get Kh squared plus P0A plus V0K over AH plus P0, V0 uh, multiplied by 1 minus T over T0 equals 0. So we get this uh, quadratic equation with respect to H. Uh, well, at this point you can substitute for the numbers. Uh, remember that you have to convert the uh, aquaspheres to Pascal. So this is 1.13 times 10 to power five pascals for the pressure and then you also need to convert the uh, temperatures to Kelvin. Now when you do this and when you substitute for the numbers uh, the quadratic equation will look like this. You will have 2000 H plus 2100, uh, 2013. This is H squared. This is H minus uh, 397 Point fifty nine. I'm keeping uh, more significant figures than I need to because this is an intermediate step. So these are the numbers that you will get in SI units uh, when you substitute everything in. 
And then you can just solve this quadratic equation for h. Now obviously, because it's a quadratic equation, you will get two answers, but only one of them has a physical meaning. So the value for h is uh, 0 0.169 meters, or you can say 16.9 uh, centimeters. So as a result of this uh, expansion of the gas due to the temperature increase, the piston goes the piston goes up by almost 17 centimeters. Okay.